guys, we have got ourselves a behemoth. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? EXO coming at you here with something extra special, never before seen on the EXO channels. Personally, I've never even seen one of these before in my life. I'm not sure if you have either, but either way, it may be a first time for both of us. This is the B2XM 21 inch subwoofer. What the f We were gonna open the box right here, our little B2 special, but this little knife just won't do it. What do you guys say? We gotta fucking get something a little bit better than that. What do you think about this? Whoosh. This is just right for this little big box. Uh, we've been sitting on this for a couple weeks. You've seen it uh, mentioned in other update videos, but right now is the time to get her open, so let's spare no more fucking sentence and get this bad bitch open. This is just gonna be a nice slow going EXO unboxing slash testing video. We're gonna fire this up with our Amp Lab lithium battery to see how it moves, like some tones, and at the end of it, we're gonna throw some music on this free air. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. There's gonna be lots of cool stuff for you to watch. This is the most dull knife I've used in a while, but she's doing the trick. Oh boy, there's nothing better than opening a nice fresh sub of a box, guys. Oh, you know the feeling. It never gets old, especially when you get ah, when you get to be above a 15. I don't care what brand it is. It's always exciting to check out a nice big whoopa. Over here from our buddy Andrew was nice enough to hit us up on Facebook to see what we all think of this on video. Again, this is the XM 21 inch woofer. I'm gonna pull that tape off for everybody. That's a big woofer in there. One more flap, guys. One more flap. That's what she said. Here we go. All right, let's go at this real slow, guys. This is gonna be fucking crazy. I think they need about eight to nine cubic feet per woofer. So that's gonna need a big box. What do you guys think that we should build for it? But here we go. Oh man. Woo! There she is. Look at that. Oh my God, is that carbon fiber? I guess I should have read the spec sheet before opening this thing. That's a surprise right there, guys. Holy crap. Now it's time to look a little bit silly on video. What do you say? I've got to manage to get this out of here somehow. But good Lord, let me just look at the size of that dust cap. My hand compared to it is, is just about an inch shorter. Huh, my hand is, is smaller than the dust cap. When I opened my first 18 inch woofer from Steve Mead, do you guys remember that? I was like, the dust cap's as big as my hand. Oh my God, the dust cap is as big as my hand. Big shout out to him too, I still got the addiction. Oh my fucking word. What? Oh my good word, you guys. Look at the size of this thing. Holy shit. I'm just gonna manhandle this thing right out of here. Look at this! Holy fuck! What on earth? Get this box out of here! Oh my heavens! Okay, a little bit different than, than what I was originally expecting. It's bigger. I didn't expect it to be this fucking big. Looks like those 10 inch spiders are being dwarfed. Those 10 inch spiders look like little tiny fucking 8 inchers. Look at this guys, I can't even, I can't even, I'm gonna repeat myself a million times in this video. Look at this, this is sheer madness. The basket envelops so much of the camera. Look at it, what the fuck? Now I'm just wondering what on earth can we do with this guys? We need suggestions, we need all sorts of your, your comments below to let us know what you the fuck would do with this. I would, I'm thinking ported enclosure. I'm thinking maybe a big ported enclosure to keep it as small as we can while still having lots of air uh, movement. Because let's, let's face it, this thing is going to be moving a shit ton of air. Coming into the actual sub, you can see some definite detail. Just like the other good woofers around, we got the stitching on the surround. That is something to grab right there. That's a fistful. Holy shit, there's the cone right there. Even though it's a huge cone, they used a special little formula for their paper slash hybrid cones here. It's supposedly supposed to be a lot lighter weight. And it's not very pulpy on the back of it either. You can, it's almost kind of smooth. Man, oh man, I just can't get over this thing. 
Really, one beautiful woofer. Conservatively rated at 3,000 watts RMS, burpable up to 9K, and if you pay attention right down here to the triple joint, boy, they really managed to slop a lot of extra CA glue down there to ensure you don't have any separation. There's nothing worse than jamming and realizing your coil isn't a part of your suspension anymore. 3,000 watt subwoofer has got to have a nice little magnet for us to look at. Let's pull this skirt right down. Whew, there she is, triple stacked. Nice ventilation there on the bottom. And right there is just under 70 pounds of magnet. I believe 1075 ouncer. Not bad if you ask me. It's almost as big as my freaking head. Ah, wait, it is bigger than my head. What the fuck? Look at this small little mug compared to this magnet. I swear, there's nothing better than a nice fat ass, you know what I'm saying? Look at her. She's sitting there waiting to get pounded. You can also see a little bit of ventilation below the spider platform, all held down with more than a generous amount of glue there, seeping down into the first part of the spider, nailed down strong. And looking deeper into the basket, you can notice that several areas have actually been notched out to decrease on the weight. That's really good for people who are doing multis, and besides, most of the strength isn't coming from down here anyways. Take a look at this gasket, holy thickness! This had to have been custom made. That's like 17 pounds of rubber right there. Good lord. Also, this bad bitch is sitting on some four gauge push terminals to make it easier to plumb through all your eight gauge wires when you're doing parallel or series wiring. Man, I am getting excited just sitting here. I can already picture it moving already. Probably gonna vibrate this camera, that camera. Everything's gonna probably be going nuts with how big this thing is. I mean, just, just take one more look at that magnet. 40 millimeters of X Max going right through that pole piece. That's going to create some fucking turbulence, if you know what I'm saying. So without any further ado, guys, we have got the Amp Lab Mega Lithium battery almost ready to be fired up here. So let's get it and uh, plug it into our amplifier, 3000 watt amplifier, and let's see if we can get crazy on this thing. I'm looking forward to seeing how this thing moves. <laughs> All right, guys, we are almost ready to fire up the B2 woofer here. Can't wait to get her moving. We have the Exo Contralto lithium battery from the Amp Lab almost ready to go. It is 13.4 volts. So we're gonna wire this thing up in series just like we did in our other video. All right, guys, we're all wired up in series here. Almost ready for some free air action. We've got uh, some various meters here to help us understand what's going on, make sure we don't exceed uh, unsafe levels. Got the voltage and our oscilloscope. We're gonna be doing some clamping here too to see how much power we're putting out. And also, I'm trying out a new application. I usually use PA Tone, but this one actually has the option of, check this out, sweeps. We are gonna do a sweep from 60 hertz to 15 hertz in 60 seconds. So. It's gonna go from high to low. It'll be like but it'll obviously take 60 seconds to get all the way to 15 hertz. All right, time to push play and get crazy. Let's 
pull up the calculator and see how much power we were just sending to this sub real quick. So 21 times 52. So we're putting just a little over a thousand watts into this. This little roll of tape holding it, holding the woofer up so it stays vented underneath. Good lord, guys. This is insane. It feels like it's already in a box. I swear. It's making, I feel bass in here, in the room. Everything is just shaking like crazy. Right behind it, we're almost at 130 decibels. I can hear it in the room. We gotta make sure to keep it bent up like this or else it makes this noise, listen. Hear that, all that wind coming out? But what the hell, guys? Seriously, I can hear it in the room. I can't believe it, nice clean wave. Oh, fuck. She is moving something nasty. The closet stuff's fucking vibrating in there. The whole woofer is just fucking going nuts. Look at this. Word. That's a lot of weight to be just fucking manhandling all this stuff. Nice clean wave still. Just went back up. Whew, she is fucking going strong. We have got a different sweep from 60 hertz to 20 hertz in 10 seconds. So it's gonna go by a lot quicker and we're gonna do a power test to make sure she's, you know, putting out some power. Here we go. So 51 volts, 19 amps. Oh my word, one more time, ready? Let it do it one more time. good word we're gonna do amps times volts which is 19.94 times 51.70 and uh, yeah we're still putting out a thousand thirty watts I mean clearly this thing can handle through three times as more power but without being in an enclosure it definitely changes things Let's try it one more time We gave her a little bit more power there, you tubulus. Oh shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 61.2 times 21.14. Yep, we're getting almost 1300 watts right there. <laughs> that's why she was moving a heck of a lot more, that's for damn sure. <laughs> a little bit of music here, playing uh, Freak No More. It's got a lot of different bass tones in it, so I figured I'd play that. I got it leaning up against the wall now so it doesn't fall over. This thing was shaking so much. I gotta say, for having such a huge mass to it, huge, it's it's absolutely massive. It moves very smoothly. I mean, look at it yourself. I have my low pass set pretty high. But look at it, oh yeah. having some fun you guys I mean who wouldn't want to have fun with a huge ass woofer like this just something that doesn't come across your path every day that's for sure I mean look at all these woofers we got behind us we got the uh, Forte's we still got a video with those coming up too checking out all sorts of subwoofers this year guys Eek, so is the time for subs in 2017 so let's get uh, a couple more strokes on her but overall guys I am really loving this woofer, fuck. Yeah, a little more stroke here, baby. Oh, shit.
Well guys, I think that's all she wrote for another EXO unboxing video. We had a great time messing with our B2 XM 21 inch subwoofer. Who would have thought that we'd ever have something like this to play with? So, big thanks for you guys for watching these videos, making these videos possible by checking out our featured web store at Drop and Hertz Car Audio. And again, big thanks to B2 for being a part of the EXO channels in the beginning of this year with our B2 subwoofer. Really, we're already getting a little bit warm here. That's all right, guys. But until the next video, this is EXO. Ooh, looks like the sun's coming out. That's my cue to get crazy. I'll talk to you in the next one. Okay.